OpenAI just released its latest video generation model, Sora 2, but more importantly, it's made it available via the API, which is the first time that they've done this. So expect hundreds of new AI video generation apps to hit the market very soon. And if you have an idea for a video generation app that you'd like to build yourself, in this lesson, I'll be showing you how to provide the right inputs, including an input reference image, how to use the available parameters for the length and size of the videos, how to store the video outputs that you're getting from OpenAI, and some tips for how to bring it all together into a nice and easy to use interface. My name is Gerard, I'm the founder of replstack.com where I teach people how to build apps without writing code. This lesson is actually part of a course on building apps with AI features. So we've already covered text, image, voice generation. Now we're covering video generation using OpenAI's latest release. You can find more at replstack.com. But okay, let's dive into this lesson. So the idea that we're going to build is a product demo generator. And we're going to be starting it from scratch in Replit as a new app using this prompt. I'll leave the prompt below so that you can copy it and use it for your own projects. But basically I want to build a product teaser video generator from the user's image upload using OpenAI Sora 2. And these are some key points that I've noted while trying to build with the new Sora 2 API. First of all, we're going to need to auto crop the images so that the input reference image is in the right format. Then we're gonna let the user add some details for their video, hit generate video, send the request, poll to retrieve the video. When it's completed, we're gonna use the retrieve video content endpoint, download and display the video to the user. And we're going to be using Replit's app storage to store those videos. So I'm just going through this very quickly. I'll give more detail in a little moment so that I can start this build. So again, we're gonna build this whole app without writing any code ourselves. We're just gonna work with the Replit's AI agent. Let's just check these tasks. Everything looks good. Let's build the app, start building. Now quickly, I'll just note that I've included the full API docs for the video generation section from OpenAI. Just copy this whole section from the OpenAI API reference under videos in the responses API. Start from create video and you can just copy that all the way to this video job section, paste it into the chat, and then Replit is gonna have all of the necessary documentation for your build. But time to go into a bit more detail about some of those key points that I included in the prompt. This new video generation model lets you create a video from a text prompt. So you can just describe a video that you want in this little example here, but you can also include an input reference, which is going to be an, an image or a video file that guides the generation. Now I was testing this out earlier and it looks like the video reference isn't available yet. So you can use the image reference. There are two video models now. There's Sora 2, but there's also Sora 2 Pro, which is supposed to be a more advanced version and a more costly version as well. You can also select the clip length in seconds. This has to be a value of four, eight or 12 at the moment. Maybe in future they're going to increase those limits but 12 seconds seems to be the longest video you can generate. And the last parameter is just this size value. So that can be either a landscape or portrait image using these values here. And that's it. It's really quite a simple request, not so many parameters to fill out, but we do actually need to follow a few steps for the full video generation workflow to work. Unlike other requests to the OpenAI API, like a chat completion, which you just send the message and get the response back. In this case, we need to follow a few steps after we send the create video request, we're going to need to take that video ID and send a request to check on the status of the video generation task. So what I've included in the Replit agent prompt is a polling process that's gonna check every 10 seconds for the status of our video. Once it's completed, once it's ready, then we're gonna send this third request, which is to retrieve the actual video content. That's gonna let us download the video and show it to the user. So again, there's three steps to this workflow for the full video generation requests. And I've included all of that in the prompt. Once you do get that video back, you can think about how you want to store it. Maybe you just want to display it to the user once and then never store it persistently. But if you do want to keep those videos, then you'll need some sort of object storage. And for that, we're going to need Replit's app storage. So I've included that in the prompt as well. Then we just need a simple easy to use interface for the user to drag and upload their images, maybe select some settings for their prompts for different things to include in the video. And then later on, we'll be discussing how to tweak the instructions so that maybe we use a template for those product demo videos 
so that it follows a few more detailed instructions. So let's just check on our app. It looks like we have our first version. Just a moment ago though, Replit Agent asked me for an OpenAI API key. So you'll need to do this as well. If you've been following along with the course, then you know how to do this and you'll know to create a new API key for a new project so that you can track the usage and billing more easily from project to project. So just input that OpenAI API key and then hit continue to continue building. And I just wanna check a couple of things before testing out the app. Main things I wanna check are that the correct endpoints are being used. Because this is a new model from OpenAI, I don't really believe that Replit Agent knows it, so I'm hoping that it has followed the documentation that I uploaded. So that looks all right. The next thing I wanna check is the that app storage has been included, so that's good. I can see that here integrating with app storage using these Google Cloud buckets. All right, I think we're ready to test out the app. Let's open it up in the new tab and let's see what we have built here. So we've got a side-by-side -side view. I like that, it's sticking to the top. Upload product image and I can see there's a little hint here that agent has taken my instructions. These are going to be auto-sized to the correct format. Then the user can provide a video description. That's great with some quick suggestions. It has this little toggle section, which I like for including different sections in the video. So I'm guessing this will go into the video instruction as well as some video settings, which are just those parameters for the create video request. Everything looks promising so far. So all we need to do is actually test it out. Let's test it out on a familiar product the Apple AirPods. So I've just uploaded an image for, of some Apple AirPods. Let's say include autumn sale offering of 50% off. Let's see if it follows that instruction. Video elements, product features, yes. Benefits, sure. We want that call to action for the sale. And we can include some background music, sure. And let's see what happens. Let's generate video. We've got a little status here. So it's telling me that it's checking the status every 10 seconds. I'm gonna head over to the Replit console, see if we are logging the requests here. Okay, it looks like every 10 seconds we are checking this video generation endpoint. Okay, we have something here. Let's take a look. Turn on sound. This autumn, take 50% off the wireless earbuds that set the standard. Active noise cancellation silences distractions. Soft silicone tips create a custom, secure Damn. fit. Enjoy up to six hours of listening on a charge, 30 with the MagSafe case. All right, and there is our product demo with our 50% off autumn sale for some AirPods. Genuinely shocked that it worked the first time when I was testing it out this morning. It took a long time, so I'm glad that the prompt is working. And if you use the prompts that I've included, hopefully, you will get it to work first time as well. So we can see we have these toggles for the features, benefits, call to action. And then our prompt is building a video based on these different sections to include. So we can of course experiment with including different sections. We could add a prompt template to the instructions, which follows a very specific frame by frame method, or we could add some different modes or templates. So you could have a sale template with a different prompt template or an ad template features showcase, testimonial video. These could all be different templates that we could choose, which just use different prompts. But basically this has done pretty well just from a simple image and text prompt. Let's try it on something that's a little bit less known, the REPL stack website. I'm just gonna give a screenshot of our homepage. I'm gonna say craft a story around a user who is putting their first app about writing. Let's see if it follows this kind of storytelling instruction, call to action, background music, and sure, we can have brand colors as well. Generate video. So just some things to keep in mind when building with the Sora 2 API. If you have a clear output that you want, you can actually provide frame by frame, second by second detail. There's this really good Sora 2 prompting guide in the OpenAI cookbook, which gives you some details about how to work with it, how to write better prompts, but then you can also get ChatGPT to help you write these really detailed video prompts as well. And it's really good at following those instructions. Then just adding some simple interface for the user to either add some extra details or to select some things to include like we have in this setup here. Again, you probably don't want to rely on the user having to input all of those detailed sections of the prompt. Just try to make your UI as simple as possible. Some use cases are gonna be better than others if you are, for example, generating a video of yourself talking just from an image. It's not gonna get your voice right. It's probably not going to sync things up very well. And so you might need to wait for the 
video to video modality to be ready as the input reference. But for things like product videos, product demos, lesson concepts, or explaining concepts visually, even for marketing content like reels for your Instagram, just by giving a topic and maybe some reference image. And you could just set up a tool that helps you automate your reel production every day. So let's check this one for RepelStack. Maya had an idea for a simple RSVP app, but no coding experience. RepelStack became her guide. Guided courses broke the process into bite-sized prompts, and every step gave instant feedback. She dragged components, connected it. Okay, that's awesome. It's followed the craft a story instruction and pieced together different steps and kind of taken a lot of context just from that image, our homepage. But you'll notice that because it's so restricted to the 12 seconds length, Sometimes it's gonna get chopped off halfway. In a future video, I'll probably be exploring how to stitch together longer videos by making multiple requests and storyboarding a longer demo video. But for now, we're just exploring this new update. So the big question, how much have we spent today testing out the Sora 2 videos? Because we are doing 12 seconds on the Sora 2 model, that's $1.20 per video generation. If you do shorter videos, obviously that will be cut down. And the way this breakdown breaks down is pretty simple. It is 10 cents per second of video generated. It doesn't seem to be impacted at all at, at the moment by providing an input image or not. And the pro version of Sora 2 costs three times as much. So it's 30 cents per second generated. But for now, that's a quick introduction to AI video generation using OpenAI's latest video model, Sora 2.